One thing I noticed from my early cold weather trips was the amount of condensation and frost that built up inside the trailer. Also, when the temperature started to drop, the A-liner didn't retain heat very well. I don't think it was designed with winter in mind. In my first video on cold weather camping, uh, we talked mostly about boondocking and the generalization of why you'd want to go out in the winter time. Uh, in this one, I'd like to talk more about what has to be done to the A-liner to prepare it for cold weather. There are several areas where heat loss can occur in the A-liner. One of the most obvious ones are anywhere where there's metal that goes to the outside, which is most of the frame. Also, there's the big gap between the side and the roof on both sides. There's the single pane windows, there's the front door, and there's the two vents on the roof. And I'm going to talk about how we can get all of these all secured and insulated so you have a lot warmer experience in your A-liner. This is a noodle. It's a pool noodle. Uh, kids use it to whack each other over the heads in pools and beaches. Great concept. Um, for the A-liner, however, I got another idea. Is You take one of these and using a razor blade you just cut it in half. So you end up with something like this. And you can take it and put it in that big gap between the, the wall and the ceiling and uh, three purposes. It uh, helps reduce a little bit of the noise. Uh, it gets rid of drafts and uh, it insulates. Uh, it's especially uh, important when it's cold outside. So uh, there you go. Easy, cheap. You could say I really had to use my noodle on that one. The other thing I should have mentioned was the hinges on the sides. These were really bad for condensation and frost, so I covered them up with strips of carpet and white molding for wall panels. I just glued these onto the side. This, however, wasn't my idea. I got this off a blog called uh, Dave and Nancy's A-Liner. They're the ones that have some phenomenal ideas on how to fix up your A-Liner. I definitely recommend that site. The carpet I had left from covering over the hinges, I just put as strips on the ends. So that covered the end in the front from uh, condensation and uh, frost as well. There's no doubt I lose a lot of heat when it gets cold in the trailer, just simply from the, from the windows. Uh, there's only a single pane of glass between me and the outside, so uh, what I thought I'd do is try out a window insulation kit. It's just a heavy gauge plastic and two-sided tape. Um, there's a really good ridge all around the window of the A-liner, so uh, should have no problem adhering it. And uh, the best thing is it only cost a dollar twenty-five. So what do I have to lose? The dollar twenty-five. Let's give it a go. So there it is. Nice tight fit can still look outdoors. We'll take it out and we'll see how it works. Another thing I did to keep warm is I put fatigue mats on the floor and then I just covered those over with just regular mats. And that just makes it so much easier. You can walk around inside in your socks because the floor is a lot warmer and it certainly helps to conserve energy as well. So let's talk about insulating the vents. One of the easiest ways is to just buy the vent cushions. They're pretty popular. I think they're about $20 for a pair. Most camping places have them. Uh, unfortunately, when my vents originally blew out, I don't have the uh, A-liner vents, and so the Campco vents, they don't fit. So I had to make my own. What I did is I made uh, 15 by 15 pieces of reflective mylar. It's actually the same reflective mylar you get at, uh, for sunshades for the car. And uh, I just taped these together. I used one inch thick styrofoam for the inside. I made a hole for the handle and just put a little duct tape around that. And all along the outside I put self-adhesive Velcro. And the vent itself I've also got Velcro around it. So all you have to do is put it in place 
and you're good to go. To take it off, I usually just start from the bottom. And you can even hinge it like that if you want a little bit of light in, if you've got to have access to the vents, and then close it up at night when it gets cold. So one problem I had before was condensation dripping down from the peak of the A-liner. So I bought these. This is a double, double draft guard, as seen on TV. And what it is, it's two pieces of foam in between cloth. And uh, I'm going to stick this up in the peak of the A-liner, and uh, that should help with insulation. So in order to do this, I've got to use my shower rod just to hold the sides in place, because I've got to take that off, and then bring it up. And there it is. One thing I'm trying for the first time is damp check. It's a moisture absorber and uh, I'm hoping it's going to help with some of the problems I have with humidity. Another brand name is called Damp Rid. One thing I did do around the door area is replace that awful open celled foam with actual rubber. This is a very soft rubber. It's used for weather stripping around windows. And this is especially important at the step because uh, that spongy stuff that was there before just brought water into the trailer. So this seals it up really good. So I've done all around with the new rubber. I definitely recommend that for the door of the A-liner. It is imperative that you either protect all sources of water from freezing or eliminate them altogether. I strongly recommend completely draining your water tank and any connecting hoses before heading out on cold camping. This would include any gray water storage as well. If you have a toilet, leave it dry until needed or add antifreeze to the holding and flush tanks. A hot shower may be a challenge when the thermometer dips, so if the place you are camping doesn't include on-site facilities, you may consider a sponge bath to keep the condensation down. A cooler or refrigerator turned off is an excellent place to store items to keep them from freezing. That includes drinking water, juices, sauces, lettuce, and even beer. When it's really cold out, the cooler may actually be the warmest part of your trailer. I warm mine up a bit by leaving the door open for a few minutes with the heater or furnace on. This can keep the contents protected for hours. So to summarize, I've now added carpet to the roof base and hinges, foam in the gaps in the sides, added vent covers, inserted baffles in the roof peak, added window barriers to all windows, and rubber weather stripping in the door. After adding a moisture absorber, floor mats for insulation, and protecting water from freezing, I think it's time to go camping. <laughs>